Peace, your children. Shalom, family. The rise of the brute beast. Weak men. I want to talk with you about a few scriptures here. And I, I want to talk to you men and you women out there about what's going on. And see if you can take it, you men. Okay? Now, let's go to the scriptures here. Because I want you to get a good understanding of the scriptures. And what's being said in these scriptures. Okay? Um, can everybody hear me okay? Before I get on my way, let me make sure it is. Okay, good, good, okay. Shalom, shalom, family. Okay, let's go to the scriptures now. Let's go to, um, let's go to Second Peter, chapter 2. Yeah, I'm experiencing the buffering too, and I don't know why it's doing that. But, um... Kind of choppy. Hmm. Um, look like it's on. Um, it's acting up on my end. I may need him to get the hard line for me. So have him get the hard line. Just bring it in through here. Bear with me one moment, family. I'm gonna hook up the hard line because I'm running a wireless right now and it's um seems like it's moving a bit too slow so just bear with me one moment. Hook this hard line up to see if we can get a different type of um thing going on here. All right, let's see. No change. There we go. Okay, now let's see what happens here. Okay, it still look like it's a little choppy. Well, I got the hard line click connected, and so I'm going to just go ahead and do this, and hopefully it will get better. Not sure why it's not um, not understanding what the issue is here, but anyway, it says uh, we can hear very well. Don't adjust the sound. Okay, the sound is good. Okay, well, shalom again, family. Um, rise of the brute beast. Spiritually weak men. I want you to pay attention to this because I want you to really get this. All you brothers out there, I want you to pay attention. Okay? Because you don't want to be in danger of something that I'm going to show you in the scriptures. Okay? And you women out there, there's a warning to you too. Okay? 
Let's go to Let's go to Second Peter chapter two. And I'm going to start off at verse 1. I want you to pay attention here, okay? It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying Yahuwah, Yahusha that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Now pay attention. He said they're going to bring upon themselves swift destruction. Now I'm going to show you evidence of this destruction. Pay attention. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with frame words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth now and their damnation slumbereth not for if Yahuwah spared not the angels that sin but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved into judgment and spared not the old world but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in a flood upon the world of ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an over overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should not live ungodly. Now, so basically, he's telling you all this stuff happened. For a reason, okay? It's so that you don't have to go down the same path. Are you hearing me? Pay attention, because I'm going to show you a destruction that's happening upon y'all's people right now. And many of you young men, black men out there aren't seeing it. Watch this. Okay, let's keep going. And deliver it just like vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexes righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And Yahuwah knoweth how to deliver the godly out of the temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness, uncleanness, and despise government. Of course, we know it didn't say government, but presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not really accusation against them before Yahuwah. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall, re and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are, and blemishes, Sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls and heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children. Okay, now I want you to pay attention. It says that these were brute beasts and they shall punish, they shall perish in their own corruption. Okay. I hope this scripture got your attention. 
I hope it has your attention. Now, can everyone hear me okay, or do I need to start this broadcast over? The audio is good? Okay. I don't know what's going on with the video aspect of it. Okay. Great. So now, I want you to pay attention. Now, when you look at our community today, right, there is a judgment that has fallen. And I don't think many of you see, especially you, you men, I don't think you see this judgment that has fallen. What is this judgment? I'm going to point it out to you. The scripture told you in the Old Testament there's a prophecy that said there would be seven women to one man. Now, where are all these men at? Where are all these black men at, y'all? Tell me where are they? Hmm? Since the seven women to one man where are all these men? You tell me. I'll tell you where they are. Many of them are dead, in jail, messed up on drugs. This is what has happened to our men. Why do you think half these women can't find a good black man? Because Yah has judged the black man. Are you hearing me? Now, you can say this and you can say that. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't what's going on. That ain't what's going on. You can say that all you want. But the statistics don't lie. Okay? Yah has poured out a punishment on our men in a way to where... There's seven women to one man. Pay attention. Forget about the screen freezing up. I don't know why the screen is freezing up. Um, I already checked the internet. And I have a hard line wired in and it's still acting up. So I don't know what to say. But I just need you to pay attention. Okay. So now these brute beasts the scripture talked about. Right? These brute beasts, it actually mentions them again in the book of Jude. Let's go to Jude. Okay. This is Jude. Jude. And this is chapter 1, verse 10. Again, uh, we're going to start at verse 9. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go a little further up. Verse 8. It says, Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, Yahuwah rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them! For they have gone in the way of Cain, ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward. And perish in gainsaying of core. Now, here it is again. I want you to pay attention. Brute beast. These brute beasts he's talking about, right? Now, I got another scripture. Let's go to Timothy. I'm going to go to this one in Timothy. It's 2 Timothy chapter 3. Let's go there. Second Timothy chapter 3. And 
I'm going to start at verse 1. Now, he's letting you know we're talking about the last days and these brute beasts. We're talking about them in the last days. Now, pay attention. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than yet lovers of Yah, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive semi silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lust. Mm, mm, mm. Ever learning, but never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you here, right? Now, when I say the rise of the brute beast, let me tell you what's going on. Okay? Because we have done several videos about this. And my wife, she's always hammering away at it because she always gets a lot of women who come to her who have fallen in the hands of these brute beasts. And these brute beasts have beaten some of these women. They have left some of these women with babies won't raise their sons and daughters, left some of these women, and they have walked off, right? Some of these men, these men are brute beasts, and they come in, and these women, they are crying out, crying for help. Help me. Some of these men have even killed some of these women. Are you hearing me? Have killed them dead. You women got to understand that there's a judgment to follow after a brute beast. There is a judgment. So when my wife comes forth with a video and she's trying to warn you all, you women out there, you need to take heed because there is a judgment if you give heed to a brute beast. Y'all is simply saying you deserve whatever you got coming. You understand? So then you got to be serious as it relates to dealing with Yah. You got to be careful as it relates to dealing with man. Now, you men out there, let me say something to you, okay? Brothers, pay attention. If you're not out there beating on your wife, right? If you're not out there acting like a brute beast, why are you sympathizing with the brute beast? Did you hear what I said? Don't you know there's a judgment attached to you sympathizing with this kind of stuff? There's a judgment attached to that. No wonder our numbers are down to one to seven. Don't you get it? This is exactly what's going on. And you men are sympathizing with these brute beasts. And if you ain't one, why you on my posts, on my videos, on my wife videos, get angry because she's telling the daughters of Zion to beware. The scripture told her to teach the children and the women and to warn them. Man, I, you know, I don't understand it for nothing. Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on. These brute beasts and these men, most men today are spiritually weak. You are so weak. You are weakling. You know why you're weak? Because you can't take it if a woman opens her mouth and say anything. You just can't take it. You fall apart. You get so angry you want to just, just kill her. That's how these men are today. Look at the video. I saw a video the other day where a woman was in the... um. At, what was it on uh, Popeye's chicken and this guy wanted a chicken sandwich and they ain't had no more and when she told lady told him oh, we ain't got no more this do not this black man didn't get out the car and clam through the window and start beating on this woman and it took another man that worked inside to jump on this dude before they were finally able to pull him out the window they pulled him out the window rescuing him from the dude that was inside Man, that is a weakling. 
Don't you understand you weak if you can't take a few words from a woman? But see, the problem is, some of you men out there that messed up, you that did some things, and you just want that woman to just shut up and just take your mess, don't you? Now, if this ain't you, if this is not you, then don't you, huh? Then you don't have compassion for these men that are like that. Don't you side with these men that are like that. Now, see, the problem is a lot of us used to be like this, right? And we done changed, and so we look back and we say, yeah, yeah, but I was able to change. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you were able to change. But some of these men ain't going to change. Destruction going to come on, on many of them. Don't sympathize with un, unfruitful works of unrighteousness. Don't sympathize with this stuff. Call it what it is and quit being so doggone weak. You're a weak man. Man. The first thing you should do as a man, you got to understand something, right? That I, I understand that everybody ain't perfect. All women out here ain't perfect. I'm not saying they are. Okay, we know there's some women out here with some issues. And my wife, she dealt with some of the women and their issues, right? That's why she did the, what was the um, um, children by the wayside? That's why she did Children by the Wayside. It's to address the silliness of these women and the, this whoreism that some of these women were doing and into. It was to address these women. Tell me, y'all are off. You are wrong. You are gone or straight. That's what it was for. Right? So, I, we understand that these women have some issues. But you got to understand who's the head. Hmm? Who did y'all make the head? He made man the head. And when you look around at these women, you look and say, where they head at? They head out here in the streets. They head in, in the, in the, under, under the grave, in the dirt. They head are in jail. They head are on, are on drugs. You get what I'm saying? And so many of these women are faced, faced, um, uh, faced with situations that's hard for them to endure. It's hard for them to figure out, man, how am I going to make it out of this now that, that I got to deal with this, I got to deal with that, I got to deal with this. So it, it, it just caused a snowballing effect in the black community on down to the boys. And some of you men got nervous and say, well, is these women raising these wild men like that? Well, 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 well no, no kidding. No kidding. It's hard. Okay? It's extremely hard. Okay? Let me tell you something. My father died when I was seven years old. And my mama was left to raise at the time that was still at home with her um, four young men. And I was the youngest at seven. And then we jumped to like um, 12. And then we jumped from 12 to like, uh, I think 14. And then from 14 to 15, I think, no, no, to 17. These young men, teenagers, my mama was faced to have to raise these boys. And let me tell you, it was hard. It's hard for a woman to raise four boys that are big teenagers. It's hard. I was there. I saw how things went down. And it was hard on her. It was so hard until several times she had to call on the older brothers that were much older than us to come in and act like father figures. So when I went astray... She would get me, but she would call my older, older brothers that were 20 plus years older. They were like dads. She would call on them, get him. He, he, he got some bad grades in school, get him. And my brothers would come home and they would get me. Not the ones that were already staying with me, but the older ones that had gotten older. Okay. And so this is what she had to do. That's how hard it was for her to raise young men. So I get what's going on. Let me tell you, I've been around a long time. I have seen a lot go down in the black community, and I can tell you where the problems are. I know. I'm not blind to it. I love my brothers out there, right? I love them. I love my brothers. But let me tell you something. I love my sisters too. You are all my family. But the scripture says what? What did you who should say? This is my mother and my brother. They didn't do the will of my father which is in heaven. If you ain't doing the will of my father's in heaven, and you ain't my brother, you ain't my sister, you may be my kin according to the flesh, but if you ain't doing the will of Yah, you are not 
my mother and my brother. Now, I said that to say this. You men out there need to man up, quit being so doggone weak, act like you can't take a few words of one woman. Some, some of the stuff these women are accusing you brothers are, is true. It's true. And, and some of the women, they come on here and they just stating their experiences. And some of you men come on there, why y'all bashing men? Bashing men, are you, a, are you one of those men? So why are you even concerned about it? If you're not a brute beast, why are you even concerned about it? That's because you're a weak man. You can't even take it. A few women come on there and they tell their experiences about how some man done kicked them down the stairs and beat and bash the head in and all this. And you, what y'all, what you do? You call the man on them? You are pathetic. Some of you men out there, you are like, you are like pathetic brute beasts. No wonder the ratio is seven to one. And Yah's going to continue to pour his wrath out on you because you are being ignorant. You are being an ignorant brute beast. And you women that fall from, you are a silly woman laden with sin. Hallelujah. That's the word. Now, I done had enough of this. You men need to man up. Quit being so weak. Man. Quit being so doggone weak. Sometimes I just don't get it. Man, I just don't get it. It's like you men all come together like a big party. Like, oh, oh man, they're coming against Ray Ray over here. Well, yeah, I heard Ray Ray threw his mama down the stairs and, uh, you know, and, and, and took her purse. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But Ray Ray's my friend, y'all. He's my friend. You still trying to, trying to protect him. Ray Ray done did some evil stuff and you still trying to, y'all banding together to help Ray Ray. This poor mama done got thrown down the stairs and you banding together to help Ray Ray. This is some foolishness. Hallelujah. Some foolishness. Hallelujah. Judgment is going to continue to fall on all works of unrighteousness. And if you men are walking in works of unrighteousness, that judgment is going to roll over you so fast. The scripture says that those curses are going to overtake you. You can't outrun them. They're going to catch up with you and they're going to mow you down until you are destroyed. That's the word. Ain't no getting out of it. I don't care how many shaloms you say. Shabbat shaloms. I don't care how many hey, uh, 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 shalom ak. I don't care how many of the ox or how many fringes you got on. If you are a brute beast, his judgment is going to roll you over like a tsunami. Do you understand me? I don't care how many Bibles you get. I don't care how many scriptures you can quote. If you are not walking in the stuff that you are talking, then you are going to get mowed down by judgment. I hope this got through to some of you men out there. Because I am sick and tired of it. It cracks me up that I, my wife, let me tell you something. Let's go back in time, right? Let's say that we're in the time of Deborah the judge. Which we know Deborah judged all Israel, men and women. Right? And let's say that you know there were disputes among men, disputes among women, disputes among um, um, our family, disputes among marriages, right? You know there are all kinds of disputes, and Deborah had to judge this thing. She had to judge all of them, right? Now, can you imagine what I'm saying, looking at her and saying, now, this, now y'all appointed her to be judged. Now, can you imagine one of them looking at her, well... I, I'm not receiving nothing from you because you a woman. I'm not going to let you judge me. Y'all yeah, probably was striking the men dead. If they were anything like the men today, y'all yeah, was probably striking them down. Because he put her as judge. And she didn't have to ask her husband for permission either. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, you can't deal with the truth. That's the word. Hallelujah. So it behooves me that each and every time... Sometimes my wife get on a video and she does a video and you get these men coming out of nowhere. And it's like, man, y'all some weak men. 
Y'all just weak as can be. She can't even do a video trying to talk to the daughters of Zion without you weak men coming over there running your mouth. Weak, weak, weak. Just weak as can be. Huh? We are trying to warn Israel. Huh? Called to be a watchman because we are trying to warn Israel of their ways. That's what the word called us to do. Tell you when you're going astray. That's what it, we're called to do. And if I don't open my mouth against this junk, this garbage, I'm not going to let y'all's judgment come on me because I won't open my mouth against it. Do you understand me? Because that's what he said he would do if we don't speak against this stuff. We got to. So I suggest you me and man up and take it. I, would, I had to take it in my lifetime when I was off and was gone and was astray. I had to take it. I had to stand there and I had to say, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Each time y'all would judge me and show me something and I was wrong and he laid it on me, I had to sit there and I had to face it. Do you understand me? I had to face it. I had to deal with it. Hallelujah. I had to deal with it, right? You men need to learn how to deal with it, right? You need to learn how to deal with the error of your ways. You women out there that have gone astray, you need to learn how to deal with the error of your ways. Don't you know y'all ain't gonna let nothing come on you except he deemed that it should, except he ordained that it should. So some of the stuff that you women are going through and you crying back and forth, you crying because of crying because of this, you got to look at your ways. You got to look at your walk. You got to look back and you got to say, man, oh man, I should have went in this direction. I should have went in that direction. That's why y'all punishing me. That's why y'all brought this on me like this. Because I, I was lured in by this man's smooth talk. I was lured in by this. I was lured in by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's punishing you. Huh? Hallelujah. Israel, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all ain't playing. He's not playing. You understand what I'm saying to you? He's not playing. He, he sees all of your hearts out there. He sees your hearts, right? He knows what's in your heart. Don't you know that you can utter two words wrong and y'all can strike you down just from a couple of words? Don't you know who you dealing with? Don't you know that? Don't you know you can bring a curse upon you and your whole family just because you chose the wrong direction? <coughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm getting a little worked up here. Hallelujah. I just need y'all to understand this. Yah can bring a judgment on you so fast. I've seen people get lifted up in pride and just get lifted up in pride and be walking about and all of a sudden the most high come and be like, bam. And they'll be sitting there like, what, what happened? What happened? I've seen people, one minute, you sitting there talking to them on the phone. Next minute, they laying up in the hospital. You say, man, what happened? What happened? Don't you know Yah knows and he sees everything? He knows and he sees everything. No one is getting away with anything. That's why he said, humble yourself. Hallelujah. Humble yourself. That's why you're supposed to humble yourself under his mighty hand. Because Yah is not plain. Now, I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to bawl out for tears for anyone. I'm going to cry out to Yah for the things that Yah put on my heart to cry out. But I know why Yah is raining his judgment on his people. I see it. And I get the emails. I get the emails. People crying back and forth about this. Crying back and forth about this. Don't you know what the words say? You can avoid all these bad decisions. You know what it says? In all that ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. Don't it say that? See, the problem is many of us, we're just, we're just going forward, doing this, doing whatever we think is right. We're just going in that direction, right? And y'all just pouring it on us. Hallelujah. 
Y'all just pouring judgment on us like you wouldn't believe it. And we sitting up here looking about judgment, hitting people around us, and we still got, got nervous.